Hey guys, if you are going into year 10, whether you've been doing your GCSEs for um, a year, or whether you were just starting your GCSEs, these are the really, really important things that I think you should know. So, if you've been doing your GCSEs for a year, then you are in a really, really good position. But do not forget that everything you did in year 9, you're not going to be examined until the end of year 11. So, make sure you spend time this year revising all of that old stuff. If you are just starting your GCSEs this year, then you are not in such a good position as people that start here because we have a lot to get through and we only have like 18 months to do it. Now I know this sounds like a really really long time but we have a lot of stuff to teach you. So um, what I would expect from like a top student, someone who's looking for those those eights, those nines even, is that you're putting in work outside of class as well. If for some bizarre reason we don't set you homework then go and find something to do because there is so much, so much to cover. And you guys are in a really unfortunate position, that especially for physics, you have to learn a lot of equations and you have to learn a lot more units than the people that are in year 11 and are sitting the old specification. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on the changes to the specification and the extra things that you guys need to know. But the most important thing that you can do is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Don't just strike, you know, have your lesson on kinetic energy and think, yep, fine, I've got that sorted. And then not cover it again until the end of year 11. Make sure you're constantly going over it because if you want to get those top grades, if you want to, you know, have fancy eights and nines all over the place, you need to, need to, need to practice. Now, what I really, really suggest that you do is um, get yourself a load of flashcards. These are for um, A level, so don't worry, that's okay, everything's written on them. Um, and for every single lesson, make like, you know, five, ten flashcards. Just put them in a pile, have piles on your desk, like, you know, French, German, physics, maths, whatever. And every single lesson, make five flashcards, put them on the bottom pile, take five off the top, and quiz yourself. You're going to need to be going over stuff constantly because if you just leave all of your revision till the end and you know the stuff that we're doing this week you're still going to be examined on at the end of year 11 the same you're going to be doing stuff you're going to be doing in year 11 um you need to make sure it's in there solidly you need to make sure that um you know it really really well now I know there's a lot going on this year, I know there's a lot going on at school, I know there's a lot going on in your personal lives, I know there are a lot of things um, changing that maybe you don't want them to change. This is a really, really stressful, stressful time. So what I want you to promise me is that you're going to look after yourself. You're going to look after your physical health and you're going to look after your mental health. This is really, really important, so I want you to promise me that you will do that. Just as much, um, just as important as doing your chemistry work is doing some exercise. You are going to feel so, so much better if you dedicate that time to doing exercise and doing something that is going to improve your mental health. Whether that is um, hanging out with friends, whether it's going to get your nails done, whether it's doing exercise, or whether it's like um, reading a book. Doing something that is looking to look after your mental health is really, really important. Because I would much rather have students at the end that were happy, that were healthy and came out with sevens, as opposed to really, really ill, really, really sad, um, depressed people that came out with nines at the end because all they did was come through a vision for like two years solid. That is not healthy, that is not good for you. I mean, I find chemistry a vision really relaxing. Not all the time, no I don't. Um, but please, please, please don't do so much schoolwork that you make yourself sick. And don't put so much pressure on yourself that you make yourself sick. GCSEs are important, but at the end of the day, they are just exams. And nothing that is going to happen in the GCSEs um, can't be reset or can't be fixed or can't be worked around in a different way. So GCSEs are important but you are more important. So please prioritise you, prioritise your health. Um, having said that, we do need to work hard over the next couple of years. 
Um, I'm going to be publishing loads and loads of videos. So I'm going to be doing chemistry on a Monday, physics on a Tuesday, maths on a Wednesday, and like random stuff on a Saturday. At the same time I publish each of those, I'm going to be publishing like a much longer, really long where I work through loads and loads and loads of practice questions, loads and loads of examples over on my classroom channel. Um, because if you want to be getting those eights, those nines, those sevens, you need to be doing loads and loads of practice. Those are the only way you're going to be getting those top grades. You cannot, like, in April of year 11 go, I'm going to start revising now, and then expect to come out with a nine. I'm afraid it's not going to happen. You need to start now. So things that have um, changed, um, core practicals, um, you're not going to be doing coursework, you're going to just have a set of core um, practicals that you're going to do in lesson, and you might only do these in lessons once, and then there are going to be questions on the exam paper about them, so I'm going to be making loads of videos about these, so that you can go back and remind yourself what the practical was, and the maths component has increased dramatically for physics and for chemistry. And part of the problem is that you need to know how to do math stuff in science before it comes up in the math specification. For example, in um, physics, we need, to, we need you to know how to do vectors quite early on, but the math department aren't gonna teach you that until the end of year 11. We need to know how to do tangents in chemistry, but the maths department don't teach you that. So there is a massive maths component, which is one of the reasons I've started my classroom channel so that I can do the really, really long, detailed, really, really long, in-depth, mathsy videos um, that is going to go over a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, GCSEs are a lot of fun, guys. Um, it's really important to look after yourself. It's really important to start revising now, to start practising. Um, but they're a lot of fun, so good luck, guys. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask.